Congratulations. LeBron deserves it. His son deserves it. It's going to be beautiful. With that being said, I'm still not letting you off the hook, my brother LeBron James, who I love and respect for not standing up for the issues that need to be stood up for in the black community. You're not off the hook for that. But you are a tremendous father and a tremendous non-political role model for young black men, black wife, black children. You are not an activist by any stretch of the imagination, but you are a tremendous father. And I look forward to seeing you and your son play together. As far as young Bronny James goes, if you're bringing a snow bunny with you to begin your NBA career, Bronny James, please drop the snow bunny and go get you some chocolate honey. Bronny, drop the bunny and get you some chocolate honey. I can't cheer for you, my brother, if you're going against the black woman by dating and mating outside the community. So if Bronny James drops the snow bunny, I will root for him and his father on the basketball court. Okay? Brothers and sisters, reports are coming out that the CNN, Caucasian News Network, has denied all black media outlets the right to cover tonight's presidential debate. I'm getting this message from brothers and sisters all over the country that the Caucasian News Network is not letting any black media outlets cover the presidential debate tonight. I want to know why are you surprised? I want to know why are you appalled? I want to know why would you think anything else would have happened? We are disorganized. We fight more with each other than we do with our enemies. We have no economic program for ourselves at all. We never focus on um, uplifting our brothers and sisters on the bottom. We have been used as a political football by the Democratic Party for almost 100 years straight without any change of behavior. Why would anyone take the American Negro seriously? CNN didn't let any black reporters in because black reporters don't matter to them. And do you know why black reporters don't matter to them? Because black people are going to vote for the Democrats anyway. So why do we have to cater to black votes when we already know where the black vote is going? And since no one in America cares about black people, why do we need their reporters? I mean, who cares what black people think about the presidential election? Who cares what black people think about the presidential debate? So they're not going to let them in. 99% of all the black reporters are going to be Democrats. So that's the Republicans way of saying we don't need you. And the Democrats don't care because they have nothing on their agenda for you in the next election cycle. They're focusing on immigrants, rainbow gangers, and women. So CNN not letting any of the black media outlets cover tonight's presidential debate, that's just a symbol of a much bigger problem on the horizon. That's just a symbol of a much bigger problem on the horizon. We're dealing with a blackout, a literal blackout of anything relevant for black people being handled, processed or heard by the white power structure or the U.S. government. It's over for us. If we don't quickly come to a realization of the state of emergency we are in as a race of people, you can forget it. You can forget it. See, some people thought we were going to wake up after Hurricane Katrina. Some people thought we were going to wake up after Hurricane Katrina. 
Some people thought we were going to wake up after Hurricane Katrina. We went back to sleep. Some people thought we would wake up after George Floyd. We went back to sleep. You wonder why we are a reactionary people? Why do we always react to what the government does? We react to what the police do. We react to what white people do. Why are black people so reactionary? You know why? We're only energized to make a difference when white people piss us off. If white people are not pissing us off, we could care less about what happens to black people. We are completely reactionary. Caucasians control black people's entire agenda list. We only react to racism. We do not proactively do anything for ourselves. And the reason we don't proactively do anything for ourselves is we don't have enough love to do anything for ourselves. So y'all can stop with all the religious talk. I'm so tired of the religious talk. Black people are a bunch of spiritual hypocrites. We are a bunch of spiritual hypocrites. How can you be so committed to God doing nothing about your people's condition. You're a hypocrite. You're so committed to the church, so committed to the masjid, so committed to the temple, but yet you're completely comfortable with your people struggling and suffering. Spiritual hypocrisy. Spiritual hypocrisy. I will watch Bronny James play when he drops the snow bunny. I don't support black men who date out the race. So until Bronny James stops bunny hopping, I can't do it. I'm happy for him and his father, though. I love to see that black father, black son together on the basketball court. That's going to be great. That's going to be great. I love to see that. That father, the LeBron James is a great father. He's no activist at all. That's the biggest lie ever told. He's no activist at all, but he's a tremendous father. And I look forward to him and Bronny James playing on the court together. If Bronny James stops bunny hopping, if he doesn't stop bunny hopping, I can't support that. But let's talk about more important matters right now. Let's talk about more important matters right now. Let's talk about more important matters right now. Tonight's presidential debate is going to be interesting. Because I want to see whether or not black people's issues are addressed at all. I suspect Donald Trump might throw you all a pig bone. I think Donald Trump might throw the American Negro a pig bone. I think he's going to bring you up because he knows Joe Biden hasn't done anything for you. So Donald Trump might cater to the Negro ego just enough to get your vote. I do suspect that former President Trump might throw you a pig's feet bone. He might throw the American Negro a pig's feet bone because he knows Joe Biden is very weak on the black agenda. He's completely ignored you for four years. And so I can see Donald Trump saying something on behalf of black folks, not because he cares, but just to get your vote. But I really don't think you're going to be a topic tonight. I really don't think you are going to be a topic tonight because you are very comfortable being politically irrelevant. We have been politically irrelevant for quite some time and especially since the election of Barack Hussein Obama. So since black people like being politically irrelevant, I really don't think your issues are going to be broadcast too much tonight. Okay? But this is just the beginning. Y'all, you have seen nothing yet. While you sitting around waiting for reparations, they are physically diluting your strength, mass incarcerating your men. They have normalized black femicide and infant mortality and maternity death. Do, have you realized that there's nothing functional about the black community? There's nothing at all functional about the black community. What's functional in our community? The black church does nothing for the black community. It's dysfunctional. Gangster rap and hip hop does nothing for the black community. It's dysfunctional. The black businesses do nothing for the black community, but rob it and take their wealth back to a white suburb where they live. Completely dysfunctional. Fraternities and sororities don't do anything for the black community. They're dysfunctional. What is functional in the black community? I know. You functionally use your paycheck 
to empower people in other communities while you splurge on useless material garbage. That's the only thing functional. You functionally deprive your community of your money while you give it to other people and they take your spending power and they translate it into political weaponization against the black community. We literally finance our own gentrification. We literally finance our own political subjugation. We literally finance our own economic retardation. We keep on having history conferences. We keep on having history conferences. History is important. I love studying history. I will be the black history teacher at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. I will be the black history teacher at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. I will be the black history teacher at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. But what good is studying your history when you haven't taken care of your future? What good is studying your history if you haven't taken care of your future? What good is studying your history and you're not taking care of your future? Black people never talk about the future. We have no agenda, no plan, no program except to wait on God and wait on the white man. What kind of a racial agenda is that? Waiting for the elections is waiting on the white man. Waiting for reparations is waiting for the white man. And many of you pray to a white Jesus, so waiting on God is also waiting for a white man. Somebody said we was here 200 years before the white people. Okay, and what problem did that just solve? Here we go again. Historical masturbation. We were here 200 years before the white man. We were actually here more than 200 years before Kukoi. The African had already transmigrated every continent. But what problem did that solve? You a Chickasaw, Choctaw, Indian. What problem did that solve? There's aliens that are visiting the planet Earth. What problem did that solve? There's people living under the Earth. What problem did that solve? See, the problem with the American Negro is you need to be constantly entertained. You're the most childish people in the country, extremely childish. If you're not being entertained, you cannot tackle serious problems. If you are not being entertained, you cannot tackle serious problems. Problems. This is why whenever you want to organize American Negroes, you got to give them entertainment or food. If there's no food or entertainment, they're not coming. No other group has to feed and entertain their people in order to keep their attention. No other group has to feed or entertain their people in order to keep their attention. But you have to do that with the American Negro because we're not serious enough. We are not serious enough to stay focused without food and entertainment. This is why the politicians use rappers to push their campaign. Only in the black community are entertainers used to get out the vote. You don't see that in other communities. You might see an entertainer here or an entertainer there. You don't see Chinese comedians and Chinese basketball players being used to attract the Chinese vote. That only works with black people because we are not serious. Don't tell me to go easy. Political economic suffocation and you're telling me to go easy? Do you go easy in the weave store? Do you go easy in Foot Locker? Do you go easy at the jewelry store? Do you go easy in the white restaurant? Do you go easy when you preparing for your children's proms? Do you go easy on the cruise? Do you go easy on vacation? But when I'm talking about the reconstruction of black America, you want me to go easy. You know why? Because you're not serious. We are not a serious people, and that's why nobody takes us seriously. That's why nobody takes us seriously. There's only one question that matters. How long will it take you 
to weaponize your money to save your children's future? That's the only question that matters. I don't want to hear about a government grant. I don't want to hear about a white bank loan. I don't want to hear about any of that. What are you going to do with what you have? That's the only question. We always looking for grants. No. If you think the government is going to help you when the government created all your problems, what drug are you taking? What drug are you taking? I don't see no hospitals being built. Where the hospital? Be? Can somebody show me an independent black hospital being built anywhere in black America? Can somebody show me an independent black hospital where black people have come together to safeguard their health by creating their own hospital? What about an independent black clinic in America? Do we have an independent black clinic looking out for our babies, looking out for our elders, looking out for our disabled citizens? Do we have a hospital or clinic in the works at all? And y'all talking about Bronnie James. And y'all talking about Bronny James. I'm happy for Bronny James. I want to see LeBron and his son on the court together. But Snow Bunny Bronny James isn't going to solve your problems. Snow Bunny Bronny James isn't going to solve your problems. He's just a child. You have to solve your problems and stop looking for distractions. Stop looking for distractions. Stop looking for distractions. Stop looking for distractions. How many independent schools are we working on right now? How many independent schools are we working on right now? Let's go to whole food markets owned by Africans. Black whole foods markets. How many of them are we working on to feed our people real food? Nutrition and diet, major causes of disease. Nutrition and diet, major problems and causes of disease in the black community. Is there any conference coming up to build whole food markets owned by the black community? Can I go to that conference? Can somebody send me the flyer for that? Where is that conference at? I don't want to go to another conference on King Tut. I don't want to go to another conference on Nile Valley history. Where is the damn conferences to create a future for African children? Where's that conference at? What about an independent black bank? And I'm not talking about so I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about superficial black banks that are financed by white banks. I'm talking about real black banks from top to bottom. Where are they at? Funding businesses in the black community. Where are they? Don't talk about Jay-Z. You're trying to scapegoat him. This is not about Jay-Z. This is not about any black billionaire. We are a $2 trillion people. Stop scapegoating celebrities. We are a $2 trillion people. Stop scapegoating celebrities. We are a $2 trillion people. Stop scapegoating celebrities. What are we going to do on the street? The grassroots. We need systemic transformation. Stop looking for superheroes to save you. That's your problem. Jesus is a superhero. The big problem with black folks is we're waiting for a superhero because we want no part of the responsibility to save ourselves. We're always looking for a superhero, whether they come out the Bible, whether they come out the Quran, whether they come out the Torah, we're always looking for a superhero to save black folks. No, 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 no. Black people will not be saved by a superhero. Black people will be saved by working together or black people will be destroyed. It's really just that simple. We are halfway in the cemetery as a people anyway. Let's just keep it a buck. We are halfway in the cemetery as a people anyway. Let's just keep it a buck. We are halfway into the cemetery as a people anyway. Let's just keep it a buck.
You wanted to assimilate into white America. And that's exactly what you got. Full assimilation. They have assimilated you so much that you don't even matter anymore. That's what you get for wanting to be an assimilationist. You're not an integrationist. Dr. King was an integrationist. Medgar Evers was an integrationist. Integrationists fight for access to resources and opportunities. We don't fight for access for resources and opportunities. Integrationists have courage. They fight for a share of the American dream. Al Sharpton doesn't fight for a share of the American dream. You're not an integrationist. I can respect an integrationist. You are an assimilationist. Let me in. I will keep quiet and I will imitate you to the fullest extent of my ability. I will imitate the Caucasian so much that I won't even be recognizable. And once I am no longer recognizable, I can be ignored. Politically and economically irrelevant. So the only thing left for them to do to a politically and economically irrelevant group of people, the only thing left to do to an ill economically and politically irrelevant group of people, extermination. But they're not going to do it themselves. They're going to let the immigrants do it. I feel sorry for those of you who don't live in black communities. The black ghetto that you couldn't wait to get out of because of the poverty and the stress might be the safest place in black America. I feel sorry for you black bourgeoisies. I feel sorry for you, black bourgeoisies. I feel sorry for you, black bourgeoisies. You spent all your money and all your time running away from black people. What you going to do? Being the only black family in that all white neighborhood. They just got us on a nice little warm. They warming us up right now. You're being warmed up. Wait till they start boiling that water. Wait until they tossed your ass in that oven. They just getting us warmed up right now. And I'm telling you right now, all the serious black people need to get together and start organizing. We can't save everybody. We can't save everybody. All the serious black people need to get organized and get together. We need to get armed. We need to get our food together. We need to have an escape plan. We got to start having conferences. We are so politically irrelevant right now. I don't think we realize it. I don't think we realize it. It all started with Barack Obama. Not because of anything he did, but because of what you didn't do. You let the Obama presidency take you completely off the table of conversation because you was happy just to have a black president. You was happy just to have a black president. New Orleans, I don't know because they'll just blow up the levees again, New Orleans. New Orleans, you have to go to Mississippi. New Orleans, you got to get to Jackson or somewhere. They'll just blow the levees up. I could be wrong, but I don't see New Orleans as a stay in your ground city. It's too easy to flood us. You're below sea level. It's too easy for them to flood us out of New Orleans. From a military science perspective, it's too easy for them to flood us out of New Orleans. You know what else they're going to do if they go to war? You thought the Gulf War had too many black men in it? Wait about, wait till this war happens. When they do the military draft, they're going to try to send every black man they can overseas. I hope every black man has a passport. Brothers, get your passport. When they start recruiting, disappear into Africa. I'm going into the bush, brothers and sisters. I'm going into the bush. I'm going into the bushes of Nigeria. I'm going into the bushes of Ghana. I'm going into the wilderness of Kenya. I'm going into the mountains of the Congo. Y'all will see me when the war is over. Get your passport, black man. Pay off your child support and get your passport. We better start growing our own food. We better start growing our own food. Let me say this. If there's anybody watching this who's interested in coming to FDMG this summer. We got about nine weeks of summer left. 
if there's anybody watching this who is a gardener and a farmer, I would like you to come to FDMG this summer and get our community garden started this summer. Who wants to come help us out? We cannot afford to pay you. This is volunteerism, but we have we have some grassland around the school. I need you to help us choose where the community garden should be. And I want you to help us plant some crops ASAP. ASAP. Where my gardeners at? Where my farmers at? Where my gardeners at? Where my farmers at? Come to FDMG because FDMG is going to have to be an emergency shelter for black America. I'm just going to keep it real. FDMG is going to have to be an emergency shelter for black America. Wilmington, Delaware will be a stand your ground city. It's predominantly black anyway. Wilmington, Delaware will be a stand your ground city. If you live in Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, or anywhere else in America, if you know how to grow food, please get in touch with me. I want to start our community garden this summer. Who coming out? Who coming out? I want to take a whole week and start planting all around FDMG. Who's coming out? Who's coming out? Let's start growing crops on campus right now. Let's start growing crops on campus right now. If you serious, text my phone. We're going to have a Zoom and then we're going to get busy. I want you to bring your seed where we got to get the fertilizer, what tools we need from Home Depot. Is there a farmer's market to get everything we need? We are ready to start growing this summer. 215-989-9858 I want the food already growing when the children start school next August not this August next August I already want the crops we're going to take food to the elders we're going to have our own farmer's market right there on FDMG campus don't talk about it be about it will the real institution builders please stand up Black woman, if you serious about the revolution, if you serious about saving your people, don't date any black man who ain't trying to build for black people. Your boyfriend in law school, good, we need some lawyers, but what is he building for black America? Your husband is an engineer, that's good, we need engineers, but what is he building for black America? Black man, you have to revolutionize your romance. You shouldn't be dating no black woman who's only concerned about weaves and pocketbooks. We ain't got time for that no more. Black man, you cannot afford to be dating black women who only concerned about where you taking her for dinner. We ain't got time for that right now. If your queen ain't trying to build for the future, find you a real woman because she not it. She not it. We can no longer sit around and fight with each other. We got to organize and build. Let's start the FDMG Farmer's Market. Let's start the FDMG Garden this summer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Institution builders should only be dating institution builders. Institution builders should only be dating institution builders. Congressional Black Caucus is real quiet. Congressional Black Caucus is real quiet. Al Sharpton is real quiet. You, the Black Church is real quiet. They have nothing for you. And they know the Democrats don't either. They have nothing for you. And they know the Democrats don't either. They have nothing for you. And they know the Democrats don't either. Brothers and sisters, this is your big brother, King Kong. Thanks to all my New Orleans family who came out last night. We're trying to finish up this school. We're going to try to finish painting this weekend as much as we can. 
If you want to help us paint Saturday and Sunday, you need to donate to the school and text me a screenshot. If you want to help us paint Saturday and Sunday, Saturday or Sunday and or Sunday, 11 to 7, Wilmington, Delaware, come on out, bring the children if they're old enough to paint. We're going to try to paint and then do them floors. Once we paint and do them floors, once we paint and do them floors, we ready for the inspection. Once we paint and do them floors, we ready for the inspection, brothers and sisters. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Will the real institution builders please stand up? I'm in New Orleans. I'm in New Orleans. Yes, you have to donate to come help paint. You donate the Louis Vuitton, I don't hear no complaints. You donate the Gucci, I don't hear no complaints. You donate the Nike, I don't hear no complaints. That's what's wrong with you Americanized Negroes. You don't have a problem. Oh, you ain't got no time for that. You ain't got no money. That's why we're going to go around snatching melanin. All summer long, I'm snatching melanin. I'm snatching your melanin. You don't want to be African? No problem. Give me your melanin and go join the pink people. You don't want to be African? No problem. Give me your melanin and go join the pink people. Snatch your melanin. If you donate $5, you're not coming to paint because to me, that's not a respectable donation. I'm not going to tell you how much to donate. But if you're donating five dollars, we don't need you on paint day. Day after tomorrow, we don't need you. Now the queens told me not to shave my beard off. The E5 Tunde Queendom. No rice bunnies, no snow bunnies, no sand bunnies, no salsa bunnies. No salsa, no sand, no snow, no rice. I said, no salsa, no sand, no snow, no rice. I said, no salsa bunnies, no snow bunnies, no sand bunnies, no rice bunnies. We ain't against nobody else. We trying to build up ourselves. We ain't against nobody else. We just trying to build up ourselves, brothers and sisters, against nobody else. What's going on in New Orleans tonight? Anything? Spoken word? Black community organization meeting? What's going on tonight, family? What's going on tonight, family? If the snow bunnies care about the future of black America, reject all thirsty, low self-esteem, Negro P and males. That's all. Reject them. Reject them. Send them back to their community. That's all you got to do. 